Welcome to the new episode of Together We Rise. This one is all about the new Gen 3 Evo. So what we've currently got here in the workshop is the new body aero kit for next year's car. It's a complete new top surface aero kit. So it's a new nose, new wings, new front body work, uh, new side pods, and new engine cover. They're all slimmer than the previous generation of car. Nose is slightly longer, which allows the front wing to be further out, generate more downforce. I think there's some big changes, mainly in tyres and aero. They're the first two bits alongside with four-wheel drive that's really changing the performance of the car overall. We're still getting to grips with that at the moment, but I think that the four-wheel drive aspect makes a big difference. This car, compared to our Gen 3 iteration, is already showing itself as being faster. It's definitely going to be a big step forward in terms of speed. The racing will be as close as it always is in Formula E. But yeah, it's, it's definitely a big jump in technology. The leap in performance is so great, it could probably justify an entire generational change in its own right. Talking to Fred, talking to the team, the work going on behind the scenes in preparation for Gen 3 Evo is very exciting for Mahindra. So I know we'll all be excited to see Mahindra in there competing at the start of Season 11. I think the new powertrain we have is something different in the approach for Mahindra Racing. For the first time we have designed something with the supplier in the way we want it. But this one should already, in the short period of time we had to develop it, give so much more flexibility in racing to the drivers, to the engineers, that it will change the approach of racing for us. It's looking good. The, the development of our new powertrain, this should uh, theoretically you know, bring us more into the game for next season and uh, hopefully we'll be more competitive. Yeah, I think it's nice to be part of the evolution and change. Uh, it's always exciting to start exploring and learning uh, what it's like and it will help us to close the gap to the front runners. We're all uh, yeah, looking forward to it and, and excited about it. So realistically we are testing against our best image of ourselves, and we need to make sure that we're using these tests to say okay where do we think we were going to be, where do we still identify opportunities for performance improvement and where can we keep enhancing that as we go to race one. We've got the bodywork here, the car's not currently here, the car is away at a dyno rig test uh, doing some development work before we actually run the car on track. We've got people working over the weekend to rebuild and prepare the car ready for next week's on track testing. The stress levels are high, but also I think that just builds anticipation for seeing the performance once we get to track. So we're here testing the new Gen 3 Evo. A whole new car for us. We're going to some exciting things next year. All wheel drive in 350 kilowatts. So yeah, exciting stuff. You see the car in the background. When you saw it at the workshop, there was only the bodywork there. Now it's the complete car. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've now got our full test car livery on. So today we've been doing some aero testing uh, with the new bodywork. There's some new bodywork internal pieces that reduce drag. Uh, we've got this extra wing element on the side of the car, give a bit more downforce and reduce drag from the rear tyre. A few little tweaks going on and then hopefully we'll start to really get stuck in, push the boundaries of, of what this car can do and, and test the limits. This is a fabulous accomplishment, really proud of everybody. What you see here has been weeks and months in the making and the fact that the car has been running without any problems is, is a big deal. It's encouraging because it is showing that the level of performances we wanted is there and maybe some additional areas where we can explore and start uh, to find also additional ideas. So today everyone's been working really hard. We've got several different departments here all working on their own separate things but all collaborative to get the car out together to learn and find more performance from the car. I think the team we have built, and I will compare it to good wine, the more we get older and, and the more we live together, the more the team is getting the right spirit. We can be optimistic that in the future we can just raise the bar a little bit more. From how aggressive we've been in our development cycle to where we currently are in our testing phase, we're really trying to find that as the car hits the track, 
it's really responding in the way that we expected from all of the simulation, the development work, the dyno time. We need to make sure that we're using these tests to say, okay, where do we still identify opportunities for performance improvement? And where can we keep enhancing that as we go to race one? It will be much faster lap time wise. It's an improved car performance, quicker acceleration, more mobility, more agile. So all these things, if you had a stopwatch on last year's car versus next year's car, you'll see a big difference. Plenty still to do, plenty still to learn. So go back to base, sit down with the boys and girls and, and work it all out. But it's new times, it's new beginnings. So yeah, it's exciting. I think it looked good on track. It looks a more aggressive, a little bit more complete. So I'm looking forward to yeah, drive it. It will bring a little bit more, more excitement. Very much looking forward actually to drive this new car. So all together, excited because the people are happy to see the car already there and excited because we see that what we had as a target is maybe overachievable. And that's the goal.